Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 997. Yes, three more days till we hit the 1,000. I'm not sure how I'm going to end this series, but I'm definitely going to take a break after the 1,000. So stay tuned for that. I'll decide by Wednesday, which is the 1,000th, what I'm going to talk about. Anyway, this is episode 997. Let's take it today. And the topic today is actually me, my so early, that really, really spoke to me, which is forgiveness is the best revenge. And I've added to that, which is P.S. Self-forgiveness especially. And here's why. And I'll explain what that is in mo in moments. So let's get into the conversation. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I will tell you at the end we can watch the replays and more about my work. And I'm probably going to put a link or two in the comments just so you know what's coming. Yes, I do have calls to, calls to action every time I do this because why not? So forgiveness. Um, first of all, most people have been trained, educated, um, impressed upon. And forgiveness is somehow a sacrifice. There's a whole correlation, in, especially in the Catholic faith, um, I was thinking Jewish faith too, because I'm from Jew I'm, I'm Jewish background. There's a lot of judgment and stuff about the the guilt stuff that happens with the guilt in, in Catholic Jew guilt and then Jewish guilt. The reason being my guilt because forgiveness is one of the the um, get out of jail free cards for guilt and resentment actually for that matter. And basically, what let me let me oh, let me say this way: forgiveness is designed, is intended, effectively eliminates or reduces judgment in the sense that it's a means to release the pressure of the judgment and to forgive the action or the judgment, whatever is going on. Actually, to be more specific, the way I learned forgiveness is forgiveness is actually a means of, forget, of forgiving the, the perception of the judgment, excuse me, perception of the action. Because somebody does something, we judge it as wrong. That's the forgiveness we can do to ourselves. If somebody says something and we judge it as wrong, or we do something and judge it as wrong, all this stuff is about judgment, basically you can figure that out. So forgiveness is a tool to alleviate judgment, or I should say alleviate the pain of judgment, to be more accurate. Because what we're really doing is remembering that we're not as bad as we keep telling ourselves we are, or somebody else. So the reason why I said forgiveness is the best revenge is because oftentimes in relationships, let's start there, shall we? Relationships are oftentimes um, disrupted by and destroyed by perhaps the best way of putting it by some sort of action words treatment that is heavily judged by both parties so for example to give you something to illustrate this um say for example you are in a relationship where you you are passionate about monogamy and you want your partner to be monogamous and they cheat on you and you can't handle it and you're out of there you're done you're, you're really upset underneath all the upset emotional stuff is some serious judgments about what was right what was wrong Basically, um, you can't forgive them because they did something so bad. Well, that's not actually what's going on here. The, the, I'm doing three layers here. So let me get back up a second. So let me say this one, these two. Forgiveness has nothing to do with anybody else. I'll say that one again. Forgiveness has nothing to do with anybody else. Forgiveness is all about you. So my title was a trick, trick title, really. So I said about forgiveness is the best revenge, especially self-forgiveness. Well, self-forgiveness is the only kind of forgiveness there is. Yes, and I'll explain why in a moment. Forgiving yourself is something, because it is you forgiving you, doesn't require anybody else. It doesn't require anything else. It just requires your willingness to be caring for yourself and forgiving yourself. I'll tell you some clues and some keys to make it even easier as well in a moment. So if somebody does something out there, what's happening is we are reactive to that thing. What they said, what they did, what they didn't do, what they didn't say, how they acted, something that some, that sort of, some sort of um, emotional wounding, whatever that is, we're taking that on personally. Now, I'm going to qualify in a moment that that's the vital piece because forgiveness is you forgiving yourself so you let yourself off the hook. The biggest thing about forgiveness is it is, get, is, the, it is your get out of jail, you get out of the emotional jail free card. When you learn how to forgive yourself, which is really what it's about, nothing about anybody else, you don't forgive other people, and I'll qualify that again in a second as well. I'm setting up a lot of things, so bear with me. When you clearly forgive yourself, then you are releasing judgments that you placed either against yourself or against somebody else. I talked earlier about I talked another talk about guilt and resentment. They're like two sides of the same coin, because they're judgments based upon something wrong that violates an image. Either somebody else does something to you, and they violate the image you had of them, so that becomes resentment, or you do something you shouldn't have done, that you violate the agreement, the, violate the image you have of yourself, and you then create guilt to make that make that workable. 
Because the thing is, we have this logical mind. Now I'm down this path, I'll finish this. When we, for example, let's talk about guilt. When we do something wrong in our book, we, I don't know, we didn't pay a parking ticket, or we cut someone up on the freeway, or we yelled at somebody we didn't want to yell at, whatever that is, it is a thing we did wrong according to ourselves. But the thing is, we believe, most of us believe, we're nice people. We're good people. We don't make mistakes. Well, <laughs> we do make mistakes, but we don't do bad things. So if we do something bad in a judgment, we've got this this Ill, this, function, this this illogical resumption, Ill, illogical experience going on. If you imagine like a computer, it doesn't compute when you have bad and good together because they're not able to do that. I'm just talking about, I'm just talking about quantum computers, but I'm not going to get into that here. It's another conversation. But in a way, our minds work the same way. To hold something bad with something good, we need something to buffer the two together. And that buffer is something called guilt. When it's about somebody else, it's resentment. It's the same thing, basically, where, again, they do something heinous, bad, even though you, you believe that, that either one, you were a good person, or, or two, they were a good person, they broke, that, they broke that rule. So the only way to make that compute is to put resentment between you and them. Resentment and guilt are basically two forms of judgment that we carry inside ourselves. There's a, there's a quote from many years ago that talks about this. It talks about how resentment, I just understand how the pain of resentment hits us. Resentment is like, is like taking poison, expecting the other person to die. When we get into resentment, it's often feeling like we want to go, I resent them because it can make them feel bad. No, it's not. Resentment makes us feel bad. Resentment isn't about them. It really, I mean, it's, it's about them, but it's not to them. If you, if you resent somebody, unless you go back and remind them every two minutes that you resent them, it isn't going to affect them. So resentment is something we carry inside as a justification to feel bad about something that happened. And the ultimate um, expense of that is our health and our vitality. So forgiveness is the way we restore our health, our balance, and our connection to who we really are. So self-forgiveness, and that's what I'm saying, forgiveness to me, forgiveness and self-forgiveness are interchangeable. Because what we're doing is we're forgiving ourselves for the judgments we place. We don't forget what happened. It's not forgive and forget. It's not that. When you truly forgive, what you're actually doing is letting yourself, excuse me, letting yourself off the hook once and for all. If you're like most people, you probably have a litany of judgments carried inside from past relationships, past family dynamics, past jobs, past driving habits, past money handling stuff. There are many things we carry judgments on inside ourselves that are basically, um, it's almost like, like beating ourselves up. We're carrying the bruises from our own self-injury. And self-forgiveness the way is the, the um, ointment to cure that, to heal that, so to speak. I'm trying to give some analogies that, that hopefully resonate. So resentment and guilt are two forms of judgment that we carry inside ourselves, either to or towards ourselves or towards somebody else. But the thing is, it's still inside ourselves, doesn't matter which way it's going. And that resentment or guilt is debilitating to our health. So forgiveness is not only a way to let yourself off the hook emotionally, it's also a way to let yourself off the hook energetically and physically too, because if you carry too much guilt around, people get sick from that, literally. And they get emotionally sick, physically sick. It could be, it could be stomach ulcers. You know, there's things about how anger turns into um, some sort of illness. I forgot which one it was. It's that understanding that if you don't do something like forgiveness, and if, well, let me say another way, if you access a forgiveness, which is a very simple way of improving your health, it doesn't cost anything. Amazing how that works. You know, right health care or anything like that, you basically just do forgiveness and you feel better. So let me explain a couple more pieces. So the thing about forgiveness is that it is something that can only really work when you're in a place of compassion for yourself. In fact, I would go as far to say is that you can only start forgiving yourself when you're willing to love yourself despite the judgments you may still be carrying. Being willing to forgive yourself to actually, let me sit up again, excuse me, my, this chair is not quite sitting right, so I'm slumping in the chair and I won't stop doing that. <laughs> it's not a judgment, it's observation. Um, that's a whole other conversation. Let me come back to this point. When you recognize that you have the power to forgive yourself, that's when you get your freedom back. Well, that's when you know you get feedback back by doing the forgiveness work. And forgiveness is a way of doing things. And there's, there's a couple of things that I recommend. One of which is, um, just to quickly jump to that part, Colin Tipping has two books out that I'm aware of. One is called Radical Forgiveness. The other one's called Radical Self-Forgiveness. I really think they're the same book, just different covers. Because it's really the same thing. And he has a, he has a free worksheet on his site. If you go to radicalforgiveness.com, 
I have the sign, I also have the, the PDF download as well, so I can send it to you. That gives you the steps to how to do forgiveness through his methodology. I have another version from my own grad school that really helped me understand how forgiveness works as an emotional transformational experience for ourselves and how the power of forgiveness is truly in us to help us be free. So that's why forgiveness is the best revenge because when you forgive yourself, you let yourself off the hook. As I said earlier, resentment, the, the phrasing is, is resentment is like taking poison, expecting the other person to die. Judging somebody else is basically toxifying your system and does nothing to anybody else. Yet we still do it. It's like we have this thing about that. I mean, if you're judging someone in the government, for example, or someone in the neighborhood, or someone in your church, or your school, or your company, that isn't doing anything to them at all. It's just affecting you. Now, having perspective and having opinions is one thing, but when you're judging, that's when you start to shoot yourself in the foot, energetically speaking. So I'm passionate about this message about forgiveness being one of the best, is being best revenge, but also being a vital tool to live a healthy whole life. One reason I've been promoting my self-love meditation, which I will put the link in the comments, you can get it, is that when you practice self-love, you create more of a safe space inside yourself to let yourself off the hook emotionally by being able to forgive yourself. Because forgiveness, as I said a moment ago, requires a level of compassion for yourself and an acceptance of yourself and love for yourself so you can actually forgive. Because if you just forgive yourself when you're in the upset, basically it's just it's happening up here and nothing's going to change. See, I forgive myself for judging, blah, 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 I'm fine. No, you're not. I've been there, done that. It doesn't work. Forgiveness requires a journey from the head to the heart. It requires a opening to allow the heart to become the healing agent that we all have. Everyone has a heart that can do that. It's built in. You have that resource. You getting my point here, I hope? So forgiveness basically is a tool you can use to absolutely transform, transform your experience of life, of love, of relationship, of your experience in the world. And it's powerful beyond measure because when you start to forgive, you start to shed years of pain, years of suffering, years of emotional baggage. Forgiveness is a powerful tool when you use it. So again, first thing you need to, to do forgiveness is, well, I would say first thing is to be aware of it because you know, you, if you don't know what you, you, if you don't have any judgment, there's no point doing the forgiveness in a sense, but we all have judgment, so don't think you're gonna miss the boat on that one. Judgment is something you become aware of, but then gives you the inspiration, gives you the focus, gives you the intention to start coming to a more um, caring place. Now, for some people, the process works better when they actually vent out the judgment, whether it's into a, a journal or into a pillow or yelling it out, running it down, whatever that is for them, to really vent the judgments out to get them out of their body. That can work to a degree as long as it's followed by forgiveness because the, the, ju the, the, the yelling the judgments out, the expressing the judgments can be almost like burning it up. But unfortunately, you need to use the compassion because otherwise you've got the fire keeps burning. You want to put the fire out, so to speak. That's an interesting analogy, it kind of works. So real forgiveness comes in the place where you have emotional readiness for it, which is compassion, love, caring for yourself. Forgiveness has to be an emotionally experienced and a heartfelt place for it to really work. But again, you have all the tools inside, you can do this. Um, I have, as I said, I've got Colin Tiffings right over for forgiveness worksheet. I've also got the one I created from my own master's background for my, uh, it's actually part of my, one of my programs, but I can give you either one of those if you want them and you can send me a message and I'll send them to you. Um, and you send me your email address and I'll email them to you. That's the best way of doing it. So again, I'll put the self-love meditation in the comments because that's a good place to start. When you love yourself first, that's why I keep being adamant about this. When you love yourself first, so many doors open, so much magic can happen and so much comfort in your own beingness can happen. And when you do that, it becomes easier to forgive and to elevate your own place in the world unless you shed all that baggage. Because when you do forgive, let me speak about the other side of this. When you've done forgiveness work, when you've actually forgiven yourself, there is basically, to be honest, always more because we're always judging. It's kind of the way we live life. But when you do forgive the big stuff, the really deep wounded places inside from past relationship breakups, whatever it was, when you start to forgive that stuff, you'll feel yourself weighing about 25, 30 pounds lighter every single time. You'll free yourself up energetically. I mean, the way, one way you can tell is you see people walking around with like hunched over, they're, they're really like bent to the ground. Oftentimes it's because they're carrying so much judgment on their shoulders, their pressure on their own shoulders of that self-recrimination, self-judgment, self-blame, self-guilt, um, or self-inflicted guilt. Forgiveness is the key. Forgiveness will basically put your shoulders back, it'll raise you up, it'll elevate you back to a higher place. It releases a lot of excess weight, whether it's physical or energetic, either one can work for you. Yeah. So again, to help you with this, 
I'll put in the comments um, a link to my, my self-love guided meditation because that will help you get started in creating the space to do forgiveness. And then if you're so interested, message me, send me a message over social media with your email address and a reminder to me and I'll send you the guilt, the, um, the two forgiveness practices that I have in my disposal of the PDFs. You can just use them on your own. Those are free, by the way. The guided the guide self-love meditation, invest in that as a permanent change of your life. It will help you massively. The guilt stuff I just send you, all right? Um, if you have any questions about this particular topic and you want to go deeper, let me know. You can put that in the comments or send me a message over social media. And if you want, want to clarify some situations, I can help you with that as well. Um, that's really about it. It's kind of the biggest piece of the puzzle in some ways is forgiveness. When you get this piece, your life will transform. It's powerful work. It's not easy to do necessarily if you don't know how to do it the first time. But once you get practiced at it, it's an amazing gift for freedom. It's almost tapping into a divinity in a way of doing it because you open up to a much bigger space inside. I have had, when I've done forgiveness work myself, when I've been, been in process myself, I've had openings to a much bigger awareness and sometimes actually had a feeling almost like blessings coming through. Now, that's not everybody's experience, but it's a good place to go. If you can aim for that and don't quite get there, you're doing great. But if you do get there, it's even better. So I hope this is basically a big piece I'm giving you. I'm giving you that the, the, the Cliff Notes version. It's much deeper than that. I mean, I have... I have a, cha a chapter in a book about it. I have a whole week's worth of tra uh, training in one of my programs, and I do it private with clients. If you want to do the big work, and this is not going to help, if you feel like you want to go deeper than this, then message me about, message me about that too. So again, self-love is a good place to start. Get resentment and guilt are keys, indicators that maybe you're not forgiving, and the forgiveness will be the transformational agent. I think that's about it. Um, this is my daily chat that I've been doing now for three years, which is over three years actually. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do these on my personal page on Facebook. It has been seven days a week, although that's going to be ending on Wednesday. <laughs> Coming down the home stretch. And um, you can find, if you go to Barry Selby on Facebook, join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day up until Wednesday. You can watch my broadcast. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day. The, I've been doing this every day of the week for over three, as I mentioned. So I've got 997, including this. If you go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, you can watch probably about two or three hundred of the broadcasts. They're not, they're on, they're, they're, all of them are there, but Facebook doesn't show them all. What can I say? But I have a backup plan. So go to my business page, barryselby.author, like my page and follow me there. In addition, if you go to my YouTube channel, I have a backup, I have a backup plan. Uh, if you go to youtube.com slash user slash barryselby, subscribe to my channel and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. And you can watch all the broadcasts there. Every one of them is up there, although there's three days missing because Facebook stopped me downloading my, my uh, Facebook Lives. Really annoying. I've got to figure out how to do that. So I've got... I'm getting back on track now because I've got another way of doing it. I'm always going to have a backup plan. And you can watch them there if you want. There's all the broadcasts there. You can search through by title, keyword, whatever you look for. Again, self-love meditation will be in the comments, the link for that. Message me over social media if you want to get the forgiveness worksheets. Uh, send me your email address. If you want to get, go deeper and have some hands-on support, message me about that too. Again, question about topic, put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. I thank you for watching as always. This is my daily chat, as I mentioned. And as a usual daily reminder, Please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.